Hi everyone and welcome to the video. I thought it would be fun today amidst all this chaos to do something a little lighthearted. So I'm going to show you Jed's Easter basket. Jed is two years old and this is the second year I've done a little Easter basket for him. We also do an Easter egg trail, but I love the idea of a basket too. Um, in case you're wondering, I got most of this stuff before all the coronavirus drama unfolded. I did have to go to the shops yesterday to get some grocery essentials anyway, so I did pick up one or two last little things. Pleased to say the shops were pretty empty. Um, I know it was a little bit naughty of me, but I had to go to the shops anyway. Um, with winter approaching and a newborn coming in June and not knowing if the retail shops are going to close completely, I actually needed to get some warm clothes for them. So I feel much better that I've done that now. And while I was there, I did pick up one or two extra little pieces for the Easter basket. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so this is Jed's little Easter basket for this year. I haven't like properly popped it together, but I'll just show you what's in it. So first of all, this little basket I got from Kmart. Um, they were six dollars, but they were down to four dollars yesterday and I got two since we'll have two boys. They also had a nice little one with a peach um, peach fabric on it for the um, if you wanted a peach one. Okay, so let me show you <clears throat> what's inside. Uh, first up, this cute little card, uh, which was from Kmart. And then I uh, do a book. So we've got this um, this Easter Bunny one, and it's, what is it? It's a push, oh, I can't even operate the book. It's got slidey things and pushy, pulley things and stuff like that. And then, so next part, which will be tradition, is to give... Um, give them a new pair of PJs at Easter. So for Jed, I have this is sort of an in-between season pair. They're um, they're not flannelette, although I did pick him up a flannelette pair too. So these have little bunnies with glasses, and they're just um, just like t-shirt cotton material, sort of good for uh, autumn and spring. So you got the pants there. And they're from Target. And then from Bed Bath and Table, which is one of my favorite shops, especially at Easter and Christmas, um, I got him this little uh, felt bunny. He's a little cutie. And then also from Kmart, I wanted to get some, some kind of activity and I found this crate of chalk eggs. So the eggs that are this shape, I've actually seen them um, for sale elsewhere. They're, they're good for gripping for young kids when they're learning to draw and stuff. So I thought that they would be perfect for Jed to have a little fun with outside. So that's Jed's Easter basket. Um, I've also put together a little present for my nieces who live in Sydney so I'm gonna send this to them um, I had already um, I had already made most of this before the corona stuff happened if if not I probably wouldn't have this year but because I've already done it I'm still gonna go ahead and send it so this is what the box looks like on the inside Oopsie. I just got this um, packet of the pink straw I think it was a dollar for the bag from Kmart and you'll get my theme here these are also from Kmart they were I think two dollars fifty each for the little bags uh, they are ridiculously cute and I'll just show you what I've put inside um, so the girls are um, nine and 10 or 8 and 9 oh my goodness 10 and 8 turning 9 oh my goodness bad auntie anyway um so inside i got them a little can you see that a little plushy mini thing from bed bath and table as well 
both of the girls really love Beanie Boos and any sort of toy like this so I know that I, I think they'll really like these um, so that's those and then I got them each just a bunny lollipop I've just seen that this bunny's ears have snapped off um, I think I got that from Target and then just a little uh, bilby chocolate as well so just just three little things but I think they'll really get a kick out of that so that is that I also when I was getting our essential groceries yesterday I also um, picked up our mm, I shouldn't say this let's just say I got some chocolate I'll just say that um, so yeah I feel all pre prepared now that we we don't need to go out <laughs> now that I've got the clothes we've got the Easter stuff sorted I really don't want to have to keep going out um, a friend of mine from mother's group actually told me today she's pregnant as well she's um, uh, due to give birth any day now she told me that she applied through Woolworths for like a special I can't remember what the wording was but basically you can apply for special consideration to have home delivery for groceries um, so I am going to do that she just basically said you know I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy um, what have you so I am going to try and do that I don't feel that you know they're saying that you're not especially at risk if you're pregnant but I, I feel like it's a still a little bit of a gray area and um, even if they do shut retail shops and things like that I did still find at Coles yesterday I was having to dodge people it was still reasonably busy with people and you just kind of ah. so anyway I hope you enjoyed seeing our little Easter baskets I know that people aren't necessarily going to be able to get out and um, you do anything like that under the circumstances but I, I hope you enjoyed seeing our little little things anyway. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for watching. Bye.